Hey everybody, this is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today's January 12th, 2024. And I have a really super exciting possible Rapture Watch update for January 13th. January 13th, 2024. Oh, could this be possible? Dear Lord Jesus, I just commit this report into your hands. I thank you, Lord, for giving us the signs, giving us wisdom and understanding, helping us to, to see what is right before us. Dear Lord Jesus, please help us to be ready when that day comes. Okay, guys, January 13th. Going back to the, the prophecy of Rabbi Kaduri, the coming of the Messiah connected to the death of Ariel Sharon. We know that Ariel Sharon died on January 11th. This was the midpoint of all these eclipses, and then the war began. And so we were watching not only the midpoint of all of these eclipses, but this incredible prophecy from, yeah, from Rabbi Kaduri connected to the death of Ariel Sharon on January 11th, and how could this all have been possible? And then the war begins on January 11th, and we're still here. But listen, guys, Ariel Sharon is still connected to this time frame, not only by his death on January 11th, but by his state funeral, which happened only two days later on January 13th. Okay, January 13th was his burial, the, the burial of Ariel Sharon, still connected to his death between January 11th and January 13th. Now we have this report from Israel. I don't know uh, if there's been other reports about this, but I'm watching RenewedMoon.com and they have shown that uh, there are reports from other parts of the world. There are reports from Australia about the new moon of January 12th, but Israel is still pending. They have not had reports come in yet from Israel. I'm not sure if this is true or not or where we are on the new moon, but a month can be anywhere from 29 days to 30 days. So if the moon is not sighted tonight, Tomorrow could still be the day of January 13th would be the official beginning of the 11th month, the end of winter, the end of Tibet, and the beginning of Shabbat. On January 13th, this would be the, the, the cutoff on when Shabbat can start. A month cannot go longer than 30 days. And so today is 29 days. Since the last new moon, if there's no new moon sighted tonight, then by default tomorrow, January 13th, would be the beginning of the 11th month. Okay, so we are waiting on the sighting of the new moon. And there is no new moon as far as I have seen so far. We're, past, we're already past midnight in Israel and the report has not come in yet. Okay, and now... January 13th connects us to the burial of Ariel Sharon. Now, all of this we saw on, on, on January 11th connected perfectly to not only the death of Ariel Sharon, but also to the death of Rabbi Kaduri on Tibet 29. Here we are, okay? Here we are between January 11th, January 12th, January 13th. Now, Someone has brought this to my attention, and I want to share this with you. This has been put in a comment from my previous video, one of my previous previous videos, maybe the one I just did, as I'm looking at the, the war patterns and do we need to go maybe to March or to April, I do not know, but someone brought to my attention that we had a Jesus March in Mexico, in Yucatan, Mexico, we had a Jesus March. And the Jesus March on, on January 6th had a shofar of God that sounded within this Jesus March. 
and I'm sharing with you these videos and this these proofs that 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 the presence of God was with us in this Jesus march and he confirmed his presence through the shofar of God that that came out loud and clear in the video of the Jesus march and someone has said that 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 shofar has is been even more impacting even more powerful of a sign than all of these eclipses on January 11th that the shofar of God that came out on January 6th out of our march in Yucatan, Mexico that could have been our seven day warning and that would lead us right to January 13th and if this is true that the new moon has not been sighted and January 13th may be the day the other thing that is very important about January 13th is that when the Julian calendar was was changed from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar, 13 days were lost. And so January 13th on the Gregorian calendar may be the true end of the year on the Julian calendar, which means we're still in 2023 until January 13th. And the other thing that is important about this is that the word watch in the Greek the word watch in the Greek, 1127, in the Strong's Concordance, the word for watch is Gregorio. Is this connected to the importance of the Gregorian calendar? Watch, watch the calendar, watch the Gregorian calendar. This is written in the word of God, watch. And the word in the Greek is Gregorio. Is this connected to the end of the year, which would also apply then to the rapture of Enoch on the last day of the year on the Julian calendar and on the Gregorian calendar, the true end of the year, January 13th, 2024 on the Gregorian, December 31st, 2023 on the Julian calendar, the 365th day of the year. And the, the rapture of Enoch when he was 365 years old. And this may be why they changed the calendars. Because the Antichrist will, ch will, will try to change the laws and the calendars and the times to confuse everybody. And this is why there's so many things that we have to watch and consider. But I'm bringing to you what I am hoping is not going to be a false hope, but another true possibility of when we may be raptured January 13th 2024 all of these things coming together the shofar of God over Mexico on January 6th was that a seven-day warning the new moon may not be January 12th maybe it is January 13th the death of Ariel Sharon and his burial on January 13th 10 years ago now Dear Lord Jesus, we are ready for your coming. We are just wanting to see the signs. If these are your signs, then confirm everything, Lord, and just let it be according to your will. At the perfect time, it will be done. We know it will be done at the perfect time. We do not know when that time is. So we watch anxiously and we, we love you and we long for your appearing and we want to share hope and faith we do not want to bring disappointment and despair we want to bring hope and this is the blessed hope is your coming and so lord we just commit everything to you and we thank you god we thank you jesus that above everything else lord we give you all the praise the glory and the honor thank you jesus thank you jesus in jesus name we pray amen, amen.